fruit for dirt cheap, and it's all locally grown, and you can't beat it. It's really quite good. And when I mean fruit for dirt cheap, like, if they've had the fruit for more than a day, they stick it in these big baskets, no lie, easily this big. Five bucks, and it's just heaped full of all different assorted fruit. It's like... I don't even know how you could say no to that. Alright. All right, so. We're in a bit of a conundrum. But we will survive. Fruit is delicious. I just wish that we could get mangosteens in this country because I've always wanted to try a mangosteen but they're super expensive and it's like they're treated with radiation before you get to eat them and it's like I don't want irradiated food I don't know about anybody else but I'm not really into like glowing green and shit like that just not green green's not my color i i go more like blues purples stuff like black stuff like that um so yeah but i would i would just love to eat one but anytime i go i buy like mostly fruit gamerchicks.net how you doing What, mangosteen phantom? Oh, they're so cool looking, too. They're a burgundy fruit, and it's like you squeeze them, you know, you just push them down a little bit, and they'll crack, and when you open them up, the fruit in it is bright white. So it's like a blood-colored fruit with white in it. Oh, it's so cool, and supposedly they are delicious. I have yet to experience it. I need to experience that in my life. I eat food for a show on YouTube, and it's like I put myself through hell. I want to try something delicious. Or supposedly delicious. Fruit of the Loom. Still gonna start like glowing green and like you know why I'm so smart really am I amaze myself how smart I am Thankfully, this kind of clears out all the zombies from the areas I'm going to, so... Oh, fuck, 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 No, 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 no! You! Serenity now! Ugh. My headset's now sliding all over. Wolf, how you doing? I think I actually want to punch the screen. All right. Let's do it this way. Let's see if this is actually easier. I need... two fertilizer. Also need perfect. I was looking. Uh, this is the. 
want to say iron axe. I think it's the Iron Axe. And then I have the, um... Explosive Arrows. up is open. Yeah, I saw that thing. Oh, you worked on nuclear reactors? Ooh, I'd be- I don't know. I might freak out if that happened to me. I'd be like, ah! Oh! I feel it, like, turning me neon. And, like, I'm gonna have, like, a third eye and crap like that. Which I- I know it doesn't work like that, but... It's pretty fucking entertaining. Level up. Oh uh, no, why are you here? Satan's moose. No, no, no. Oh my god. Shit. Why what where are we coming from? Explain. Holy bananas. It does smell like zombie in here. Now. Hey. All right. Next up, we go... Bow. Okay. Yeah, hoarding items is not a bad idea. Whoops, whoops, I'm stuck. Thank you. How am I getting out of But the piranhas in the water? Such a bitch. Really are. Oh. 
Uh, it is almost 1230. Remember, hashtag GameRequest, capital G, capital Q, on Twitter for the game giveaway. Want to get in on it? Get in there. And if you don't follow, give us a follow. Boink. Yes. Gang. Armored out. All right. Go, Kovac. Bring it, homie. Oh, that sucks, Wolf. All right, here we go. Ooh, let's pick up this, too. All right, comrade. How you doing? You found a pilot? You haven't finished? Why don't you stay? You're capable, but it was for the... What? All Very right. well. Come on, come on, come on. What, just do it? <laughs> I do. Get in there and kick some ass. Get in there, soldier! No guts, no glory. Even in video games. Come on, that is so like... Okay.
Yeah! Who is yo de- Oh shit, oh shit. Happy amigo. I'm in position. Ready to play another round? Damn, that's fucked up. That's cool. Yay! They may put out another one. Yeah, the game's fun. I do... There's a, There's a survival mode of this game. Um, I do have to say, the top-down version's really good. The third person, um, it's really, really cool. But some of the animations are a little stiff. Which, the game is still really cool, in a way, so... It kind of makes up for it. And I, yeah, counting. And I wanted to save that old dude. Actually, I did a developer Q&A um, for Frozen State. I, uh, we had, did a uh, two-hour event, played some of the game, did a Q&A with the developer. It's on YouTube. You can go check it out. Oh, yeah. Did you ever see the Silly Walk Clock? Grimbone doesn't like Monty Python. I'm not a huge fan of the Flying Circus, but I love the movies. Third person does make it easy, um, in a sense. It's the, the controls are a little wonky, too. Like, for the, the bow... It's like it kind of would go off to the side. It was, it's weird. But like the hitbox for it was off to the side. Just. Damn, nice. You like survival games? Check out Savage Lands. Oh, you never saw that clock? Oh, man. That, I saw that a couple years ago. I was like, do I need this in my life? Yes, they do. But I have a, a Sailor Moon, like, musical alarm clock, so it's like... I don't need, like, billions of clocks in my house. Oh, you like Savage Lands? Alright, come on, credits. Survival, survival horror. It's... The boomerang was nerfed in the third person. It's not as good as it is in, uh, in the top-down. The top-down, it is OP. You should check out um, Phantasmal. If you go on to our YouTube page, Wolf, um, 
you'll see a bunch of developer Q and A's. Phantasmal is really good if you like horror, because I fucking love horror. Which I'm going to be starting Outlast after this. Yay! We're doing Outlast and Outlast Whistleblower again. This is being recorded for. Oh yes, I do blue. And actually, Chloe, the um, community manager, pops in every once in a while while we're playing. 